The recent approval by MHRA of Lakembi is both exciting but also really important for several reasons. Firstly, this is the first medication approved in the UK to go on the market which is actually designed to treat the underlying cause of Alzheimer's disease. It took me a little while to acknowledge that I was doing things in an incorrect way. I would get uh, slightly lost or forget where I'd been or what I'd done um, and that gradually got worse. So I used to make furniture and uh, one day I was working working away and all of a sudden, I just couldn't remember what I was supposed to be doing. L literally, just like that, I couldn't remember. And I thought, this is not right. I was still driving. I probably, at that stage, I shouldn't have been, maybe. But I would get lost quite easily on, on a, a, uh, um, a journey home, for example, where I'd done a thousand times and suddenly I'm, I'm in a different little town. How did I get here? And it was really worrying me. Um, I stopped driving. It, it just frightened me a bit. The way it works, it's a monoclonal antibody and it removes the abnormal levels of toxic amyloid protein in the brain, thereby protecting the brain cells from further destruction from this toxic protein. And the most important thing is that it has been demonstrated in the big international clinical trial that removal of this amyloid protein correlates with slowing of progression of disease and symptoms. We are particularly excited because we have had patients with us at Recognition Health who've been taking this medication over the last four years. And these individuals actually joined the clinical trial, um, in fact, during lockdown in 2020. And they are still um, taking the medication. Recognition Health were very sympathetic and um, they met David and luckily, it's like a miracle for us, four years ago that they accepted David onto the trial. When I first joined onto the trial, I wasn't totally confident about what was going to happen. My expectations initially weren't very high. Um, it's one of those things, you know, you, you think, well, what can they do for me? But um, as time went on, I became a little bit more confident about what was happening to me and, and why, and they explained it to me all the time. And uh, it, was, it was very good. They were very thorough in uh, making sure that you're comfortable with what's happening and they'll ask, answer any questions you may ask them. So it wasn't a sort of case of being brushed off. Next please, you know, they would spend a little bit of time with you and still do that, you know. So if I have any worries, uh, I'm quite confident to talk to them about it. Why am I doing this? What's happened? which is a great thing, yeah. We didn't expect there to be any success, by the way. So at that stage, there had never been any breakthrough um, in history as far as drug was concerned. So we didn't actually expect anything to happen, but we just felt that for future generations and also just to be you know, helping in some way, um, that's why we volunteers. And also, I don't think there's any pattern to Alzheimer's and every individual is different. So David was diagnosed eight years ago, and as he's saying, we're still able to do things. So that we both believe that by taking lecamemab, it means that we've had longer with a relatively normal life. Um, we knew that it wouldn't stop the disease progressing, and I have to admit that obviously David is changing, and so we're realistic about it but we still both believe that it's given us extra time together, don't we? Yeah. When I first uh, joined the, the, the trial, I was dubious, probably, um, but it gradually impacted on my life to a very 
positive way. People were saying to me, you shouldn't be driving, you shouldn't be doing this. But they, they gave me the confidence uh, and I went to have a, a, a separate driving test and I passed it with colours and all of a sudden my confidence went up overall with everything on, on the trial. They were really dealing with um, a life um, that was drifting away and they were pulling it back or helping me to pull it back maybe. Yeah. David's taken the drug extremely well. He hasn't had any of the uh, common side effects. So we're very lucky. It's an old pool helps, you know, and, um, but it fits in a stage where, as I say, I, c I can still do all, all things that I want to do. Things have gradually cleared up in my head. Um, to the point where I'm now looking after myself completely, daily. Um, I do my own shopping, deal with my own food, my own laundry, everything. You know, all those so minor things in normal life become very major. Um, and that everything gradually got better and better um, to the point now where I just say, I'm completely confident in what I do. When I wake up, I know what the day is. I know what I'm going to do. Or if I don't know what I'm going to do, I'll find something to do. You know, it's just given me the confidence to deal with real life. My message to anybody who's considering it, um, please go ahead, take, take that opportunity. If you meet the criteria and you're able to try any of these drugs, please do it because it's uh, the best thing that can possibly happen. Participating in the trial um, has changed my life in a major way, major way because with the, apart from all the drugs, etc., that maybe going through, they give you confidence in yourself. Um, and that's helped me back to a normal life which I think I've got now. I'm able to go out, I go to the theatre, the, the cinema. I have a normal life. In fact, I have a very nice life. Um, I'm, I'm a very lucky boy. Today, David's infusion was 110th infusion. And in between that, we've had lumbar punctures and uh, MRI scans, PET scans. So it's been a long journey, but we're very, very grateful that we were able to make the journey. And here we are, four years later, still able to lead a fairly normal life. What I think is a really important message here with this drug coming on the market is obviously like any new medication that comes on the market for the first time that's available in the independent sector is that as we've seen in other countries, it is expensive and therefore may be inaccessible for, for many people. But what is totally accessible for everybody and which is determined on clinical eligibility alone is the opportunity to get into clinical trials. So in the same way as the people who joined the clinical trial for Lakembi four years ago, there are many clinical trials where people can get access to exactly these types of medications and in fact other similar medications also designed to try to slow down the progression of Alzheimer's disease and its symptoms. And the two things which are making a big difference are both the biomarkers to detect the presence of this disease as early as possible when symptoms are very mild, because any treatment that's designed to slow something down, the earlier it is given, the more effective it's going to be. And then the second thing is the development of the new drugs, which when given early, can hopefully change the future for people suffering from this condition. My advice, you know, anybody thinking about uh going on to it, uh, this sort of trial is don't do it tomorrow. Get on to it today. The sooner you get on to it, the sooner you'll get help from them and they'll take you under their wing and give you the confidence that you need to also help to get you through this problem. <laughs>